So I'm Mike Defonso. I am part of the Caterpillar UTV team, and here we have the new CUV82, the newest addition to the Caterpillar family. It's our gas version of a utility vehicle. There are now four models available. There's the CUV82 and the 102, which is the gas and diesel variants. There's also the CUV85 and the 105, which is the five seat models, also known as crew models. Fuel is the primary difference as well as top speed. So your gas model will do about 45 miles an hour. It has the ability to be restricted down to 25 miles an hour. And then the diesel model maxes out at about 25 miles an hour. Caterpillar decided to go with an all steel box. Uh, which is rare in the industry. We decided we wanted to go with something that would be durable and strong. It's an oversized box, so it has a, a large carrying capacity. You can haul up to a thousand pounds of material in the back of the box. The machine itself will haul two thousand pounds using the receiver hitch. There is a gas charged piston in there that gives you some piston assist to raise the bed. You'll also find easy maintenance points, so these are just quarter turns to take off the side panels so you can easily access maintenance points on the machine, including your belt, um, oil fills, different checks. On the other side, the same panel comes off to access the battery and the air filter. So Caterpillar really designed the machine to be maintenance, user maintenance friendly. So things like accessing the oil filter from inside the cab is simple. Uh, checking the air filter on a, for your daily checks is simple, easy to do. So again, you just two quarter turns. You take off the panel and that exposes the air filter and it's right here. You just pull out the little latch, pull off the cover and there's your air filter. Very simple for daily checks. Battery is located right here. There is a space for a second battery. So if you need to run more lights or implements that require more amps, you have the capability of adding a second battery. The interior of the machine was designed with comfort in mind and versatility. The passenger seat actually just comes off completely to give you more space in the cab. You can store the passenger seat behind the backrest and so it's out of the way and it's easily accessible for when you want to reattach it. This storage area can also be used for tools, uh, you know, shovels, implements, different things that you need to have around the job site. We've also incorporated a document holder right here for clipboards and paperwork and uh, other materials that you may need to have uh, in, within arm's reach. This particular machine is set up with a number of different accessory options. So this is a accessory, uh, you know, armrest, storage box, cup holder that's included. Uh, within the uh, cab itself on the driver's side, we've incorporated a adjustable seat that moves forward and back as necessary so it fits a variety of riders uh, of different heights. Uh, it also has a tilt steering column so you can optimize your comfort level as far as how you like to operate the machine. It's got a automotive style shifter uh, for, to, for your gear selector. The machine also has easy to reach controls for four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive capability, rear differential lock, all your lighting is located here, and then we have a fully functional gauge cluster that tells you, uh, you know, the normal things you would expect, speed, tachometer, fuel level, but it also gives you uh, some diagnostic codes, you can put in a pin number on the gas model to restrict the speed, so there's a lot of functionality there as well. Uh, we've left a lot of blank spaces here for switching, so you can run auxiliary lights, winches, different attachments and implements.